This is amazing. This is very interesting. They say women know in one minute if they're willing to sleep with a guy. Wow. It's shocking how slow women are. <laughs> and making that decision. So you thought that's fast. No, every guy here got you beat, ladies, by 59 and a half seconds. You understand? We do not need a minute. We'd be like, yes, 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 yes. There's a no, take a shot. Now it's yes, here we come. Tonight on Laughs, we are giving you a pass. Stop what you're doing. It's time to hang out with the best comics in America. You deserve some laughs. Welcome to Laughs. I'm your host, Taylor Tomlinson, and tonight you are gonna LOL, you are gonna ROFL, you are gonna LMFAO, X, T, Y, M, N, F. Is F, is flabbergast F, or is it PH like phlebotomy? Whatever, it doesn't matter. However you spell it, it is going to be hilarious. So let's get to it. Here's Mike Paramore. Now that I'm old, I'm, I'm, I'm lacking in patience. I'm starting to lose my friends because of that. I have a friend right now, I love this dude to death. I grew up with this man, he's like my brother. It's just that I don't know if he's gay or not, and it's irritating. <laughs> and I don't care if you're gay, that's fine. I'm just mad because you didn't tell me. Like, we both, like this is my best friend. You're supposed to tell me this type of stuff. Now you got me wondering. It's a confusing situation because he's a very manly dude. You're very manly dude. Big, you know, sweat when he eat and everything. Very manly person. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, big dude. Very manly, you know what I'm saying? It's just sometimes he'll ask me borderline gay questions. That's all. Stuff that makes you wonder. Prime example, the other day, this man asked me, uh, Mike, can you tell a dude is gay by the way he tickles another dude? What? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. I feel like no matter what I say, it's wrong. If you're gay, that's fine. I just, you should have told me. That's all, you got me wondering. Sometimes he asked me to do these borderline gay favors. Stuff you're not supposed to be okay with another dude doing for you. For example, if I'm going to the kitchen and my dude say grab him something to drink, no problem, I'll be right back. But I'll be going up to the bathroom, he'll yell out something stupid like, hey Mike, why you up there? Can you run me a bath? <laughs> Hell nah, why would I? Why would I wanna participate in that? I don't want to prepare something you plan on being naked in. That's stupid. I can't undo that once it's done. That's foreplay. We're in a relationship now. Why would I, why would I do that? Plus, I don't know your temperature. I don't know how hot you like it. So I don't have, I don't have all the information I need to do something like that. It's just borderline stuff. That's, I don't care if you're gay, just tell me. That's it. Don't have me wondering. You always want me to go to these borderline gay places. And don't get me wrong, people, there's no such thing as a gay place. Just not with another dude. We sitting at home, he talking about, hey, Mike, man, I'm bored, man. Let's, let's go to the park, swing on the swings. Who you talking to? <laughs> I'm not pushing your big ass on the swings. <laughs> not again, because he won't swing his feet. Listen. Do you know how hard it is to push a grown person who won't swing their feet? He yells weed too loud, attracts attention. Put your arms down and swing your feet. I'm looking at things differently. No, I'm in my 30s now, and that's the problem being in your 30s. You're not old, you're not young, you're just in your 30s. You know? Nothing happens. Even at 29, people still have hope. <laughs> You ever talk to him? How old are you? I'm 29 and I can do it. And you're like, oh my God, you'll see. <laughs> I can't even tell anybody under 25 how old I am. They don't hear it, right? They hear the first part, then they just zone out. <laughs> I'm 30. Why is this old guy talking to me? <laughs> it's past seven. He should be in bed. He should be in bed. <laughs> How did he find the mall? <laughs> Getting older, man. We started having talks, my girlfriend and I, right? She, my girlfriend asked me the other day, she goes, what do you want to do after you die? What do you want to do after you die? I was like, wow. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to hang out, I guess. Are you trying to make plans? <laughs> 
She goes, no, with your body, dummy. You want to do it with your body. I was like, oh. I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Is this a trick? <laughs> she goes, I want to be cremated. That's what I want. I want to be cremated. I want you to take me and just throw me over a mountain. Just throw me over a mountain. I was like, we could do that now. Yeah. I've got the mountain picked out. Put your shoes on. Let's go. Then just her away, give me one final to-do list after she dies, you know what I mean? I'm gonna walk by her ashes every day like, I was supposed to go to the mountain. I was supposed to go to the mountain today. Uh, I'm actually gonna do some improv comedy for you for a minute. So I'm gonna need a volunteer from the audience to be my boyfriend just for like a few months. <laughs> I was dating a guy, but we turned out to not be very compatible because he'd be like, oh, Caitlin, you're so lazy in bed. All you do is just lay there. And I was like, oh, that's a horrible thing to say. I do not just lay there. I just lie there. <laughs> you illiterate Neanderthal. I love, I love movies. One of my favorite movies is Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Do you guys remember that part where Han Solo is hitting on Princess Leia, but he is being a jerk about it, so she kisses Luke Skywalker to make him jealous, and then Yoda comes along, and he's all like, oh, hey, Luke, made out with your twin sister, you did. <laughs> this movie is why I don't date white people. <laughs> I don't know who my secret Jedi twin brother is, but I know who it isn't. It's not Lando Calrissian. All right, you guys, we are on Twitter at LaughsTV Show, or you can talk to us with the hashtag LaughsTV. I personally read every single tweet with great care. Okay, mostly I just look at the pictures, but whatever, just get on and join us. It's a funny place to be. Men have a lot of rules, actually. Men have to like hold the door for a woman, which made more sense when the rule started, right? Caveman, maybe roll a rock for the girl so she can, or even like, you know, like a golden age, like castle, you know, you open a castle door, maybe it weighs 400 pounds. But now it's built in, girls are like, are you gonna get the door for me? You're like, this one's automatic, just keep walking. Just... You still could have offered, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> We could all get the door for each other. Just push the handicap button. We're going in, we're going in, we're going. Very simple, very simple. And paying for dinner, that's weird. Men have to pay for dinner, that's the rule. I showed up on a date once, the girl opened the door. First date, she's like, thank God you're here. I have been starving all day, where are we going? I was like, that's rude. You should not be starving. Yes, I'm gonna feed you. It's not my job to nourish you back to health. <laughs> on this date. I don't show up on a first date like, I have been horny all month. This is your problem now, so. Where are you taking me? <laughs> that, would, that would be messed up. And we went, we went to eat and we sat down. She started looking through the whole menu. It got me nervous. I don't like when a girl looks through the whole menu on a first date. First date food is on the first three pages of a menu. <laughs> Starters, we're starting to get to know each other. <laughs> She's over there on page eight, nine, 10. That's anniversary food over there. We don't have any business. That's anniversary food. No. <laughs> She's like, I think I'll take the lobster and now I gotta pay, right? See, I, that's why I think you should, it should be performance-based dinners, all right? Start with hooking up, then go eat. Yeah, you rock the house, you get lobster. You end up at a fast food restaurant, you know what you did wrong for next time. <laughs> why are we here? You know exactly why we're here. <laughs> joining us you picked the worst possible time we're going to commercial but we'll be right back with the best comics we saw this week oh hey friend are you ready to get back on the laughs train well chew freaking chew because we are leaving right now that's the worst thing i've ever said if i was in las vegas yeah, yeah. Got a deal on my plane, plane ticket. Uh, Chicago to Vegas, round trip, $192. Yeah. Taxes and surcharges, $383. <laughs> I 
They rip you off, man. They don't even try to hide it. They itemize everything. They charge you $5 for a September 11 security fee. <laughs> Spend 15 years since 9-11. That should come with the flight. I buy a plane ticket, and you don't crash into a building. <laughs> they like, nope, that costs five extra dollars. <laughs> I just feel like if you ever on a plane, it gets hijacked, you got the right to stand up and be like, who didn't pay their five dollars? <laughs> This is a, uh, a human fly I recognize in myself. I'm not proud of it at all, but I've definitely felt it. If you guys are maybe honest with yourselves, you'll realize you've definitely felt it before. Have you guys ever been to Disneyland and for just a smidge of a second caught yourself getting a little jealous of the people in wheelchairs? <laughs> a wheelchair? You mean the permanent fast pass? Three hours for Space Mountain? I don't think so. I'll take a crack of the old vertebrae, soak it up in the world where all of my meals are on wheels. <laughs> I told that joke at a show, and this woman is all, ah! And she came up to me afterward, and she said, Michael, I want to let you know that I have a paralyzed son. And that joke you told it hurt, and it's not okay. And I said, oh my God, can I take him to Disneyland? Okay, I want you to write down the name of tonight's comics, put them in a drawer, and check in a year. I guarantee you some of them will be household names. What? You don't have a pen. Well, I guess you could just follow us and like us on Facebook, so keep track that way. Go online, find us. Your phone's probably within arm's reach. Don't be lazy. Big fan of the holidays, love the holidays. Love all the holidays, man. You know, that's the thing, people hate the holidays. Like, you know, they can't stand the family time together. I do, I like all that stuff. Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that stuff. Even Columbus Day, I love Columbus Day. People give Columbus Day a bad rap and I get it. I get it, slaughtered tons of Native Americans makes sense. I get it, but you gotta realize, he was looking for India. <laughs> so if you think about it, we kinda dodged a bullet on that one. <laughs> they should celebrate Columbus Day in India. But no, I did, I went down to the South and I was hanging out with my buddy and they can't talk. Like, if you don't believe me, I want you to go home and turn on this TV show, it's called Swamp People. <laughs> oh, okay. If you've never seen it, it's amazing, right? They live in Louisiana. They, 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 they wear overalls, nothing else. No socks, no shoes, no underwear, just overalls, that's it. <laughs> they catch alligators with their bare hands, it's amazing. But when they talk, oh my gosh, you're gonna feel so like, what, what are they talking about? You need subtitles, what I'm saying. If you don't have caption, you're gonna be lost, I promise you. I watched one hour of this show, didn't hear nothing but one English word, that was it, one, one. Son talking to his father. This is what I heard come across my TV. He said, hey, daddy, daddy! Ha ha! I did like that one, good guy, that was, I was your come on here, Vogue, we did that game right there, daddy! I did that one with that black, that's a do, woo! Look at right there, in the back, daddy. I went to my TV and unplugged it. I can't take this. Oh, how you smell that? It smells like a commercial break. Mmm, yeah. Sponsors, cash cows to pay for these great comics, coming up next. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the chicken fingers, but just the thumbs. Is that fine? I don't wanna, I don't wanna be too. Oh, hey, oh my gosh, they're back, hold on. I am your host, Taylor Tomlinson, you're watching Laughs, and, uh, Here's some super funny people. I think I nailed that. Uh, do you guys have ranch? I'm an only child and uh, my mom obsesses when I spend time with her. She loves it. She turns into like Lord of the Ring golem on me. Just like, my precious, I loving you. <laughs> oh, I loving you so much. I don't care how old she is. I love you. Oh. But if things don't go her way, she throws in the guilt trip. She's like, oh, you're gonna go out with your friends instead of staying at home watching Netflix and chill with me? <laughs> okay, go, just know one day I'll be dead. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. She does this thing. Every time I'm sick, she comes up with a reason why I'm sick. My mom does this to me. I'll just have a cough. I'll be like, uh, I tell you why you're sick right now. You went to the gym, no jacket on, that's one. 
You walk barefoot in kitchen, that's two. Uh-huh. You eat crap McDonald's. I don't know what the hell you eat. You don't listen to your mother. That's why you're sick. I'm like, mom, it's flu season. Everybody's sick. She's like, oh, everybody's sick? Every huh, how come I'm not sick? You know why I'm not sick? Because I don't talk back to my mother. Yeah, you don't catch cold, you catch disrespect from your American friends. <laughs> you know what you do when you talk back to me? You know what you sound like, huh? You sound lesbian. <laughs> like, mom, what's wrong with being lesbian? Nothing, at least lesbian has partner. Go have fun with your life. I went on a date recently with a girl and uh, we walked in the place. She said, damn, it's hot as balls. Now, I'm all for women being liberated and doing what they want with their body. Go ahead, that's great. But for me, there is a level, level of promiscuity, and that level is when you've been around so many balls that it's a standard measurement of temperature. <laughs> One time I did that joke at the show, and I said, how many balls do you have to be around before it's a standard measurement of temperature? And a guy yelled out very quickly and confidently, seven! Which is weird, because I didn't ask how many pairs of balls you have to be around. Before I did comedy, I used to work at a medical marijuana clinic. But it just got so depressing. It's so hard seeing so many 20-year-olds with glaucoma. <laughs> if there is one job I'm really good at, it's getting fired from them. I recently got fired from Abercrombie & Fitch for eating. Not for eating on the job. You're just actually not allowed to eat at all while you work there. <laughs> this wasn't working out for them. <laughs> After Abercrombie & Fitch, I decided to work at a sports bar. But of course, I got fired for eating. So I decided to become a nanny and I got fired for... Eating. And I just really don't like kids <laughs> at all. They're gross. Okay, we have to take a commercial break right now, but if you go on youtube.com slash laughs TV show, you can subscribe and watch us through the commercial break, and you never have to take a break from gut busting comedy. Gut busting sounds weird. I don't like that. But hey, you know, whatever. Goulash sounds weird, but that's a good food. Just weird name. I digress. We'll be right back. We were having an argument amongst ourselves about how much more comedy we could pack into tonight's show. Camera guy Steve was like, I don't think we can fit anymore. But camera lady Christy was like, I think we got room. I always agree with Christy, because she's usually right. So let's do a little bit more. So then there's this with Tom Simmons. David Moore, a Republican representative in Missoula, Montana, wants to ban yoga pants. Has he not seen women in yoga pants? Moore said that people should be arrested for, quote, wearing provocative clothing. And he added he trusts police officers to use their discretion. What? Has he not seen how the police have used their discretion with people wearing hoodies? How are they going to be with people wearing yoga pants? Seriously, this is when I thought this was an Onion article. It's not. They are literally going to have a fashion police in Montana if this guy gets his way. The proposed bill would drastically expand the existing indecent exposure laws to include any sort of exposure of nipples, including men's, even if their hair covers it or any clothing that, quote, gives the appearance or simulates the buttocks, genitals, the pelvic area, or the female nipple. I'm sorry, but it's way too cold in Montana to not catch a glimpse of a nipple now and again. Moore elaborated that he also believes the Speedos should be illegal. Well, now you're speaking my language, Mr. Moore. Although, cops already can arrest people for that under the Montana's strict produce smuggling laws. I think we're getting a little off topic, because this is about stopping sexism. I want to use this as an opportunity to stand up for women and their rights. They should be able to dress however they want. But maybe this is all just a big misunderstanding. I mean, because oftentimes I see an attractive woman in yoga pants and I think, I want to be against that. I totally <whistles> want to be against that. Hey, Tom, what are you looking at? Nothing. Sexism. It's terrible. Can I say that? Is that okay to say? Dang, tonight was an emotional roller coaster. Although I guess 
the emotion was mostly happy, so it was less of a roller coaster and more of one of those little toy trains that like go around the mall. But it's time to get off. All right, mom's out of tickets. The mall is closing. Time to pick up some hobos for next week's show. We'll see you then. Chew freaking chew. YouTuber, I don't know your name because you haven't subscribed yet. So right now, you're just YouTuber, a faceless YouTuber. Hit subscribe and I'll learn your name and then we'll be besties. Yay! That was, I promise to never do that again if we become friends. Hit subscribe. Do it. I love you.